hello guys welcome to another sketch tutorial so today we are going to talk about how to convert a sketcher project to android studio uh, which contains the project which the uh, which the project contains the firebase uh, libraries so we are going to fix the errors and convert to android studio and work on android studio so let's start so first of all uh, you need just to create an application with firebase so i have already created uh, uh, project with firebase so I can shut out the video so this is the project so in this you I open the project I have just enabled I have just enabled the firebase library as you can see it's enabled I have set some data and you can enable it and uh, so what I have done is when I click this button uh, it will add some data to the particular firebase database and it will go to a list view and on that list view i'm getting the data so i'm just adding some random numbers as you can see here i'm just adding some random numbers and on the list view when i refresh it just getting the data of the particular database so now let's run and see what happens so this is typically um with firebase so you can see now so now let's run the project fk building successfully okay then install installing so make sure you make your own project uh, for testing and open the project and now you can see uh, when you click add data oh sorry i just have to connect your internet okay please connect make sure your internet connection is okay so now i just create okay i just connected to internet so just click add data so it will be added data you can see the last one is four three four three so i will add another data and it will refresh and add to data to uh, to the database firebase database and you can see now another data is added and the previous one was for three three four three four three so now it's seven eight five one so let's add so d so it's added another one like the previous one was seven eight five one so now there's a new one so now let's export this project to android studio so now how to do is you just go to the particular project save it and export to android studio so save it so successfully saved and long press the project and click sign export and click export to android studio so this is the part where is the uh, zip file uh, test file base so make sure you copy this file to your pc uh, to a folder to a desktop to the desktop so uh, and let's start to convert let's start fixing the errors and let's run the project in android studio so now let's shift to the computer okay this is my computer screen so i just copied uh, the project to here i mean the exported to android studio project here so you can see this is the project so it says zip so as i have the rara software it shows as the icon as this so what you have to do is extract as files and uh, if you have rar uh, then you have to extract as files then press ok so it will extract as files and copy paste to here so what you have to do is uh, open android studio so I, will, I have the latest version of android studio make sure you have downloaded the latest version so uh, open this android studio and this is the uh, window of creating or opening an ex existing android studio project so i just drag and drop to here and it will be automatically opening the project so it will be opening like this um, please maximize okay just maximize maximize and you can see here uh, it will show you make sure you have connected to internet else uh, it will uh, the libraries will be not downloading so this is what is happening uh, it will configure the project and it will index the post you and please make sure you post this and you can see you have it's yeah, it's downloading the libraries okay you can see okay it says okay don't need we don't need to update so events log everything is fine 
okay everything is fine you can see the project is here manifest everything is fine okay so um, I will run on API 2030 in a phone so now let's start to run so it it will actually automatically uh, download the libraries you can see here now the gramble it's working it will automatically download the libraries okay you can see okay there's a uh, error okay uh, if you're using a sketch mode uh, make sure you have to face some things okay um, here uh, in this file um, if you are using ages mod uh, he's creating a jar file called aj code make sure you delete it okay make sure you delete it okay uh, this file is not coming to your project make sure this is uh, something my don't worry about that okay just delete uh, the ages code folder uh, else you get you will get some errors so let's run okay let's run the project okay it's uh, no address i think it's uh, running yeah it's building okay it has no errors as you see so now let's start the emulator okay you have to build it click it to build here and i think there is no errors let's see the run program okay it says uh, error by waiting okay uh it's an error with my okay it's an error with my emulator don't worry okay so okay it's opening bingo so you can see uh when you click it the data will be added right you can see can see the previous data wall now the data is uh, 7988 when you click it it will automatically add so it's as you wish it's as you as you did in the uh, sketcher project it's you have to just actually um, export to uh, Android studio and you have to just wait because it will automatically download the libraries and I can show you the grumble so this is the grumble I it's automatically using so it's automatically using the libraries and everything so if you get some errors uh, make sure you uh, check this one and if you want to use the latest version of the grumble uh, which is uh, three point uh, 3.6 points two. so make sure you edit that and you sign it so it will automatically download the uh, the projects the grumble version and it automatically will work actually so that's it so you can see now the libraries are downloaded you can see here make sure you click this one okay okay the libraries are downloaded so it's take it's give me and more an error okay uh, in the latest version that's that point is not working so let's stop it and uh, the project under dependence properties okay um, so in this uh, they are saying that you are using if you are going to put the latest version uh, which is uh, Android 29 let's see and you are using um, Android X uh, make sure you have to create a folder I actually had to create a folder called uh, gramble dot uh, grandle dot properties so I can show you the code uh, which I have used uh, in my previous project so uh, I will show you wait which is this actually this folder so I can copy it and paste it on the extracted folder and paste it here so what is inside is I will show you open with notepad We'll open it not so you can show the code so this is the code so you have to put this code uh, so I have highlighted it android dot use android x equals true make sure it's x is capital equals true android dot enable jet equals true so you had paces to create actually a file called um, in the root file you had to create a file called granule dot properties and inside that you have to put this code so 
go to the project and you can see it will be automatically added here you can see so now let's try to run the project you can see it will automatically pop up so here it's saying grander building running so i think i go i didn't get some errors so it's working so it's installing actually to the project and bingo so now it's uh, opened so click add data so you can see data are adding right so make sure if you're using the latest version of the grandle uh, you have to import that particular file and it will work perfectly so as you see you have make sure your internet is connected via ethernet or uh, wireless network else uh, uh, the firebase won't work so hope you understand how to um, convert your project actually a firebase project containing firebase project to android studio and it may not get errors actually actually if there are errors it's not because of firebase actually because um, firebase uh, if you have some issues in firebase the android studio will automatically download the particular errors or the library is necessary and it will sign automatically so as you see i didn't had any other things i had only firebase data and adding data and if you have any issue uh, let me know in the comment section so i can help you and uh, i can help uh, to fix uh, the project errors of android studio so my next video will be how to uh, export an ad mob uh, project a, a sketcher ad mob project which has ads in the project sketcher to convert to android studio without errors and fixing actually there are errors when you convert to um, android studio so i will in the next video i will fix i will show you how to fix the errors and how to proceed uh, without errors how to convert to android studio and work the app of anbob without errors in android studio so hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe thank you